Hi, I'm very excited to bring you a brand new video at LiveLinkTraining.com. My name is Ken Fisher. Well, it's here, the latest version of Photoshop, Photoshop 2017. And in it, there are some really cool improvements. A favourite of mine is the new and improved Select and Mask. There's a new tool, improved edge detection, and also something which is called high quality preview. So let's dig in. We'll try a small project with this portrait image. And what I want to do is try and remove the coloured background so that we can see the clouds underneath. Now the first thing is to make a selection. And my tool of choice generally is the quick selection tool. So I'll just make a quick and dirty selection. It doesn't need to be accurate. And there we go. Now on this one, you may miss some. And I'll make a mistake because I want to show you there's a, there's a new tool that's been added. So I'm going to hold the Alt key down and just deselect a part. So we'll say we've, we've accidentally missed that part. OK, we've got a rough selection, so we'll go on into Select and Mask. And as we saw, yep, yeah, there's a big bit missing here. OK, if we look over here now, we'll see that we've now got a new tool, which is the Lasso tool. And if we click and hold down on it, we can see we've got the Lasso tool and we've got the Polygonal Lasso tool. Now, the Polygonal Lasso tool is a straight line tool. You've seen it in Photoshop. And it's really good for going around things like architecture or buildings. In this case, I think the lasso tool is going to be my tool of choice. And on this one, I'm just going to click and drag around the area that's missing. And there we go. It's gone. And put it back for us. OK, I've gone a little bit far there. So just to show you, I'll use the other tool. I'll use the polygonal lasso tool. And if I hold the Alt key down, it changes to a minus sign, which is subtract from selection. So now I'll just click and click there and then back to there. And then that's gone. OK, now we've got some view modes. Um, the default one is onion skin. Uh, and on this one, what you can actually do is reduce the transparency. So if there's any areas that you think you might have missed, you can have a quick look and then put it back up again. Now edge detection. Uh, there's been a little bit of a tweak done on this one. It used to it used to always, when you switched on smart radius, it used to shoot the radius up to a, a default value. Well, it doesn't do that anymore. If you switch on smart radius, you can actually set the radius that you want. OK. Now we'll start making a little bit of an improvement on the high frequency stuff, the hair. So I'm going to select this tool here, which is the Refine Edge Brush. Or you can do, you just press the R key. And then I'm just going to be telling Photoshop to look a little bit further out for the strands of hair. So I'm just going to be painting around these edges. And you'll see as I do that, that it's, it's looking and it's bringing in all that extra hair that was missed. That is pretty cool. I'll just go down this side. You can see that it's bringing in all this lovely hair. That rocks. Right, we've got some refinements. Well, we can smooth it and we can put a tiny bit of feather in. And maybe I'll add a little bit of contrast. And if you need to, you can shift the edge. But for here, we don't need to. The last thing I need to do is that there's some little flecks of blue that's in these areas that are slightly out of focus. So what we've got now in the output settings is decontaminate colours. And what this will do is it'll examine all the strand ends of the hairs. And if there's any blue, it'll try and replace it with the colour of the hair. So if I just click that checkbox, you'll see that it makes such a difference. Look at that. That's before and that's after. Right, final thing we need to do is how do we want to output it? We've got several options, selection, there's a layer mask, a new layer. I prefer the, the new layer with a layer mask. And then we're all done and we click 
OK. And you can see here it's put that a new copy and it's put it with its layer mask on top. So if you want to, you can throw away the original layer now. And this is now project complete. And I think you'll agree that's not a bad selection. In fact, I think that is a pretty good selection. Oh, whoops. I'm getting so excited I forgot to tell you about another improvement. OK, let's go back into Select and Mask. And we, we can now show a preview. So we can show as original. So we can show the original, the original selection. But we've now got something called High Quality Preview. Which if I click on that, it generates a really good high quality preview of the selection. Downside of this is it does slow things down. It slow things down a lot. So in my workflow, what I would use is I, I have this switched off. This makes everything work a lot faster. All the brushing works faster, everything. Uh, and then if I want to have a look at the high quality preview, I can just click on that to view it. And then again, we'll click OK. And of course, it's made another one, but I'll just drop that in the bin. So that's it. Some pretty awesome extraction using the new and improved Select and Mask in Photoshop 2017. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments underneath the video. If you like the video, please share it with a friend and click the subscribe button. So when I upload a new video, you are the first to know. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.